Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Rose Girls haul. Now I was very selective in what I picked out. Usually, so my normal habits would have been to shop everything from the list that I thought sounded good to me. I did not do that this time. I basically went for scents that, I think I only tried two like newish things that I didn't know much about, but everything else was stuff I've had before or that I know and that I love and will use. So I was like, let me go ahead and just place an order. I haven't, I haven't placed a Rose Girls order in such a long time that I was like, let me go ahead and pick up some of my favorites and a few new ones and then call it a day. Like I wasn't gonna go nuts <laughs> with the Rose Girls order this time. So I, she did send a very generous sample and her new business card. I've never seen that card before, so that is super, cute let me look and see oh there's nothing on the other side i just wanted to check so this first sample well the sample she sent sorry this is a very generous sample by the way i didn't mean to sound like oh the only sample she sent blue hawaiian and gilligan's brew this should be interesting because gilligan's brew is like coconut creamy coconut oh okay i don't you know what i don't love blue hawaiian but Oh, this might be going in the bathroom today. Well, I like to give Rose Girls a bit of cure time, so I don't know, but this one smells really nice. It's definitely tropical, and I think the Gilligan's Brew, you can't smell it too strongly, but I think it just tones down that Gil um, the Blue Hawaiian. Sorry, that one's nice. Okay, the first thing I got, which is new to me, so this is one I just kind of took a chance on, is Midnight Rain. One thing I wish I would love to see her do, and I know... You know, she's already busy enough, but I would love to see send notes on some of these things because usually we have to go look these up and write them down, label them, all that fun stuff. So it's just a nice little perk, like when people put their scent notes on their things, but it's okay. We still love her anyways. So this is bergamot, lavender, moss, sandalwood, and rain. This one just sounded really good to me. I like rain scents in general, so... Oh, I wish I knew what that was that she mixed this with. It smells very familiar. Oh man, that smells good. Okay, bergamot, lavender, moss, sandalwood. I should know what that is. I need to look, if I can figure out what it is, I'll put a little thing across the screen because I feel like it might be its own little oil. I know I've had this. Is it, it's not stainless steel. It's a masculine, let me just say that. It's a masculine scent. Very masculine. I know I've had this before, I need to look it up. But it is a, so it's a masculine with a sweet rain. I'm getting mostly that masculine note though. Very pretty. I feel like that is definitely something going on in that one. That one's good. I like. I feel like that will be a good bedroom blend. The next one I picked up, which was a totally new one for me as well, is Blooper Beach. How fun is that name? I don't know why, I just feel like saying blooper. <laughs> this is ocean, fresh laundry, blue floral, musk, seagrass, and a touch of vanilla. If you, like you can get me, if you say fresh laundry and ocean, I'm in. <laughs> I am so in. Oh, and this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. So this is a sweet, sweet laundry. The ocean smells sweet to me. I don't know what the blue floral, I am getting a little bit of floral. Not too heavy on the seagrass. This one's really pretty. This is another one that I feel like maybe she mixed like an ocean and, mm, I don't know, maybe an ocean blend with like a laundry, maybe like a perfuming note, I don't know. Oh, this one is gorgeous. That laundry in there is really pretty. So again, I'll try to, if I can figure out like what maybe I think that is mixed with, I will shoot it across the screen. It's, it's hard sometimes, you know, because a lot of vendors will mix up some of their own stuff. Some people use multiple oils for one scent. You know, you, I mean, you can use different vendor oils, like a, um, like a couple of laundry scents all together in one 
blend, you know, but just call it fresh laundry. And then you really throw people off because they're like, oh wait, I think I smell downy. Oh no, I think I smell island fresh game. No, <laughs> you know, it's all over the place. So monster cookie is an all time favorite. I knew I had to grab this when I saw it was available. I'm, I think I'm almost out. And I was like, I cannot be without monster cookie. It is such a good blender. It's also great by itself. It is the best, well, one of the best cookie scents. It is brown sugar blended with sweet, creamy butter. This to me just smells like a brown cookie. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking good. If you have not tried Monster Cookie, you are missing out. It's my favorite cookie of all of her cookies, except I have not tried Cookie Land. I think my friend Candy sent me Cookie Land, so I need to try that to see how it compares, but Oh, Monster Cookie is just that brown, I mean, I guess because of the brown sugar in there, but it's a brown, it smells like a brown cookie. And I'm trying to think of what a brown cookie is. Cause I, you know, I'm thinking snickerdoodle, but it has no snickerdoodle like spiciness to it. It's just a good, sweet cookie scent. So I like it better than like sugar cookie Royale. I like it better than just plain sugar cookies. It is good, good, good. Why did I have to say that three times? <laughs> okay, Cake by the Ocean is Strawberry Pound Cake, Florida Key Lime Pie, and Birthday Cake. This was kind of a, wait a second, why is there no, oh, I thought there would be like an ocean scent in here. Why did I order this one? See, this is where I go like, what, like why didn't I think about this some more? Maybe there is an ocean blend in here, I don't know. No, there is not, okay. <laughs> So I can definitely smell the strawberry pound cake. I don't know if I like this one. Florida Key Lime Pie is one of those scents that I thought I liked, but now I feel like it has kind of an undertone for me. Key Lime Pie in general has kind of an undertone. I don't, I'm gonna reserve this one for warm because I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm smelling a lot of things going on in here. There's kind of a weird undertone for me on this one. I don't, I'm not sure. I can kind of smell the strawberry pound cake. Birthday cake is one of those scents that I either love or hate. Some birthday cake oils are just really, what's the word, cloying or overpowering. I don't know. Some of them I just can't do. Okay, this one I've seen a lot of people talk about or I've seen a lot on her Facebook group. Morning Sex, which is spa clean and fresh. So that's not much to go on, but um, I like all those things, spa clean and fresh, so. Ooh, okay. This is really good. This is definitely all those things. That's exactly how I describe it, clean, fresh, spa. I feel like there's a bit of a masculine note in here which I feel like some spa clean and fresh blends can have in them is kind of that masculine or unisex note. Yeah, I definitely feel like they're, along with the, the fresh and clean, I feel like there's definitely kind of like a bit of a, maybe a cologne, maybe someone can comment down below if you've had morning sex, what you smell. Because you know, we all smell different things and you might say something in the comments that would be like, oh yeah, okay, I do smell that now that you mention it. But to my nose right off the bat, I get a very nice clean scent with a bit of masculine. So that would make sense um, to me. So lemonade is one I had to grab. I really like her lemonade. And I feel like I there's a lot of vendors, I feel like lemonade gets looked over a lot, like for blends and stuff. And yeah, I feel like a lot of people jump to other oils before they go to lemonade for some reason. So I always grab lemonade because I like to have it on hand. It's a good mixer. You can do all kinds of stuff with lemonade. It's just one of those. Oh, and hers is so bright and fresh and just, uh, it's got a little bit, not a lot of fizzy, but it kind of reminds me of like the fizzy pop. Like in the group of fizzy pop scents, this is kind of where like lemonade kind of falls in that kind of group for me, but it's more tart and lemon. Oh, I just love it. It's not cleaner lemon. And I am, the funny thing is, is I don't like lemon scents. I don't like lemon, like cake. I don't like um, anything lemon that's in a blend. I just don't like, but lemonade, love. 
So I did grab two bags of that because I think I am almost out of my other bag or I finished my other bag, I can't remember. So I did grab two bags of lemonade. And the last one I grabbed is Zen and I have been warming through my Zen pretty fast and I was like, you know what, I've really been enjoying. It's a good mixer and I've been enjoying mixing things that I don't necessarily love with Zen. So, well, and even things I do like, you know, like raspberry sauce is great with Zen and that's one that, that's another bag that I need to use up. But mixing it with Zen just makes it better. And some of like my fruity blends that I don't necessarily like gravitate towards, if you mix it with Zen, it just makes it better. So, oh, and Zen. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how to describe this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think I've just had, you know what, I think I've overloaded myself on like the fresh clean, fresh and clean <laughs> blends. I wish I could describe what is in here. No idea, it's kind of sweet. It's different than some of the other fresh and clean um, blends out there. Maybe it has a touch of laundry in there, possibly. Relax, oh, okay, so I, did I say that Zen is a relaxing, clean spa scent? So, I don't know, it's just a nice, soft, kind of uh, laundry-ish scent. I mean, not too laundry, though. I can't really say that it's like, it's definitely not like dryer sheet. It's definitely not a laundry detergent but it smells like maybe it has a hint of a laundry something. Like maybe, um, what are some of those laundry scents that are out there right now? Like clothespins, it's not clothespins, but you know, something along those lines. Um, yeah. So anyways, okay. My nose is working overtime here, so I don't think I can smell anything else and try to describe it because I feel like I would just fail. So, all right, if you guys got something from the mini melters that you enjoy, I'd love to know. Um, if anyone knows, uh, can kind of give me some help on that morning sex scent. I would love to know what you think and um, anything else that you like, I'd love to know. Like I said in my last video, you guys make my channel, you guys make it my channel. Do you know what I mean? Like I need you guys to, you guys make the world of difference for me. So you guys are super important and I just love like, I mean, I wouldn't do this if you guys weren't commenting down below. Like if everyone stopped commenting, I would just quit because I'd be like, what's the point? Like your interaction is like the most important to me. So thank you guys so much for all of that. And I like seeing you guys on the boards. Sometimes I don't know who you guys are though. Like I would love to know sometimes when you guys comment like in some of the Facebook groups, I would love to like, sometimes I recognize your pictures and I'm like, oh, hey, um, I've seen her comment before, I know her, or whatever, and um, other times, I have no idea. So, yeah, oh, I did wanna point out, there is a channel that you guys should, should go check out. I'm really enjoying her stuff recently. I've been listening while I've been cleaning and stuff. And I wanna say, and I'm forgetting her name right now, I, I can't remember if it's Morrison Blue. I'll put a little thing across the screen here, Morrison Blue. She has the most calming, relaxing voice, and I just really enjoy listening to her. Like when I'm cleaning, I just, I don't know, I just like listening to her. So if you haven't subscribed to her, go check her out. She is very calming, kind of an ASMR <laughs> type situation. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will link her channel down below so you guys can go follow her. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.